All right, it is time to check in with our Rye Guy at Needlers and Carmel. They're celebrating a big local food fest. Ryan, I like the hat. Looking you good. know what, normally I wouldn't cover up the flow, but uh, we do have an awesome Needler's Hat. It's their second annual local food fest that's going on at all the Indianapolis area stores. I'm here with your local grocer, Michael Needler, and one of their local vendors who's participating, Michelle Dudash. Michael, what's going on with this food fair? We are so excited about our local food fest. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is local, 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 right? And it's not just in the produce department or in the meat department. You can find it inside every aisle, most aisles in our store, starting with this, which is one of my favorite local vendors. Michelle, tell us about your product. How'd you get into it? Yeah, so Spice Kick Seasoning Mix is my product line, and Needlers carries all nine flavors. And I created it because I'm a busy mom, I'm a cookbook author, and it was really like the next logical step for people. You just add your protein, your veg, and the whole spice packet, and you get a perfectly seasoned meal. Making I think that's it great easy. for, yeah, busy moms, yes. busy dads. Yeah, what did you bring with us to sample yeah, today? Yeah, so t um, in the store this weekend, I'll be sampling my Spice Kick Tuna Salad Seasoning Mix. So this is a tuna salad, it's in a number one seller, and you literally just add tuna, mayo, and I'm the whole spice try. packet. All and right. you have perfectly seasoned tuna salad. Oh my God. Oh, that is great. Thank that is fantastic. You. Thank yeah. you. So good. And all my seasoning mixes are gluten free, they're dairy free, no fillers. So you f it's like you're cooking yourself, but you're really just dumping in my seasonings from a chef. That's fantastic. <laughs> Michelle, your message here is that it's super easy, it's super delicious, and it's healthy. That sounds familiar. That's similar to what I try to build our stores to do. Super easy, super healthy, and delicious. And uh, for Time Starved parents, this is a perfect product. It really is. My kids love the taco seasoning and then the marinara, which Needlers also carries. So yeah, you just grab that ground beef, you grab that ta uh, chicken, and then you just combine it in a pan. And your dinner is literally ready in 20 minutes or less. I love that you yourself are a busy mom. You've created this for other busy yeah. parents too. You've got a cookbook as well. Tell us about that. I do. I have two cookbooks. So Clean Eating for Busy Families is my first book. It's been um, out for quite a while and it's in its second edition. And then also the Low Carb Mediterranean Cookbook is my latest cookbook. So people that are just, you know, looking for to eat, live the Mediterranean way, uh, a little lighter on the carbs. But you can always add that side of pasta if you want. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I love nice. it. So she's going to be out here today and tomorrow or just today? I'll be today in Carmel today and then tomorrow I will be in downtown Indy. Okay, yeah. awesome. awesome. So come on out yeah. and meet the author, meet the, the chef that put together this awesome product and you know connect with local. What local means to me is accountability and if you want to say thank you to somebody who's doing great work, she's right here to meet her and, uh, and you can of course buy her product while you're in here. Thank you. Um, thank but you, Michelle. I want to take you over to another local vendor real yeah, quick. Come thanks, on back, Michelle. come with us. All right, we I'll have Joseph around. Fisher. Joseph. A um, sixth generation farmer from Fisher Farms. Go ahead, Farms. you come on in the middle. Yeah, here, you go in the middle here, yeah. Joe. Um, talk to us about the core of Fisher Farms, because you've been on our show before, but for people who aren't familiar, what's it all about? Yeah, so we are a sixth generation family farm right here in Indiana. We raise premium, natural, and sustainable beef on our farm. That's great, yeah, and it is tasty too, Mike. Have you had some of this? Absolutely. <laughs> um, you know, when I'm in our stores here in the Indianapolis area that carry these, this product, I always leave with, with some of it uh, when I leave the store. Um, your product is fantastic. It eats well, it's local, it's exactly what we're looking for when we say, let's promote a local Indiana product. So tell us about the transition from, you know, the fourth gen, how, how, are, the, how are you different today than, than uh, maybe you used to be? Yeah, so we uh, started, you know, doing conventional farming and then we started selling direct about 20 years ago. And at that point, we really prioritized the genetics of our cattle and really focusing on the quality of our cattle, but also raising them in a clean, natural way. So humane treatment of the animals, but also no growth hormones, no antibiotics. So it's really clean meat at the end of the day, but then also we're practicing regenerative agriculture so you can feel good about the impact on the climate as well. So we're actually improving our soil, not just sustaining it. You know, I was on a panel the other day uh, with hundreds of grocers in the room and, and a lot of media and, and I was talking about, um, they were talking about the climate and the sustainability of grocery and what the consumer thinks. And I said, look, there's no better way to be accountable to your customer and accountable to the, to the environment than having great vendors and you uphold exactly what I was talking about. Well, thank you very much. We're very happy and proud to be part of the Needlers at local program here. It is super tasty. Well, let's, let's have a taste. Yeah, I already had yeah. some. It is fantastic. <laughs> so good. Fisher Farms, Sidekick Spices. Awesome. When we come back a little bit later from the Carmel store, by the way, come on down and meet these vendors. Yes. We're going to be talking about all things produce, so stick around for that. For now, though, Jill, back to you, friend.
Thanks, Rye. It looks awesome over there. And if it's making you hungry, we're about to make you even hungrier because the Block Bistro is hosting the ultimate end of summer party. We're getting a preview with the one and only Chef Terry and one of the vendors who's known around town as the Cheesecake Lady, and you'll find out why. We'll be right back.